and tap 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 on top and now let's go ahead and uh, to make the dough from from this it's very possible yes so don't worry about it come to the best pizza channel hello guys from my studio copelli and welcome back to my channel today is going to be special so tell me are you ready show me that you're ready with a nice thumbs up just to start and uh, guys if you are new to this channel it's only for pizza lovers see pizza for life let me show you better this t-shirt pizza yolo for life yes you know what that means that this channel is only for pizza lovers so go ahead if you love pizza please consider it to subscribe you're going to see more than 400 videos about pizza everything my goal is to conquer the world so let's get back into this video and today i'm going to show you how to resolve one of the most important problem the sticky dough you know when you have the sticky dough take a look of this uh, uh, this shot right, right there take a look did you see what is he doing basically is uh, the dough is really really sticky and gets sticky and sticky see so i saw this video from um, uh, this one of my students on my master class on uh, it's a private group from facebook you know he, i create the, basically who buys the master class you can get inside the, uh, this group private group on facebook and uh, basically i saw this one from uh, um, one of the students so uh, did you see what is he doing basically this dough is very sticky and uh, it doesn't know how to resolve this problem so today is how to resolve the problem of sticky dough you know so because uh, it's it's possible to uh, to make the dough from from this it's very possible yes so don't worry about of uh, um, that you are thinking probably you messed up the recipe probably I put too much water or it's sticky why it's sticky why is that so this video is for you so enjoy and then make sure because make sure to pay attention all the details so uh, get ready and it's gonna be very special I have Polish water flour and salt I'm gonna write this recipe in the in, in the comment below but this video mainly is to show you I'm gonna make the dough very sticky like uh, he was doing and then I'm gonna show you how to resolve the problem so make sure pay attention and enjoy this video from my studio Copelli okay guys so right now we're gonna make the dough easily and quick but the, the main if you want to see how to make the recipe just go ahead and uh, I'm gonna put it somewhere here on the video uh, the full recipe of the dough but really quick I'm gonna say really quick so here we have 200 milligrams of cold water so we dump it in the bowl. The Polish made 24 hours ago. The Polish, of course, is 300 milligrams of water, 300 grams of flour, and five grams of yeast, and five grams of honey. So mix everything up. So melt the Polish in the water, just like that couple of minutes now let's get the salt 15 grams of sea salt so now that everything is melted just like that now that we have uh, uh, everything melted the water the salt and the polish let's go ahead and let's add 475 475 grams of flour okay let's mix everything up and now I'm gonna show you when everything is together the problem of the sticky dough and how to resolve it mainly the sticky dough is when uh, the knee is wrong so let's go ahead now let's go ahead let's dump everything on top of the counter okay there we go uh, guys one moment if you are interested into this media please uh, uh, send me an email and then i will let you know in europe are available and then in the USA, it's coming soon. Perfect, let's put everything on the side. Let's save the spatula because you're going to need it. I'm gonna show you right now. So here you go, how you, you mix everything up. Usually 
uh, if the dough is sticky it's because uh, you are you are too aggressive with the dough but uh, I want to show you how it is and usually is uh, also sticky when uh, basically look at your hands so when you are going to do this that's a, a mistake mistake number one so you never do this when you mix the dough you go like this and uh, you keep always uh, this so now I'm gonna compare this to the video that the guy was doing so see usually it's too sticky in the floor or whatever so okay there we go this is the dough that you have a uh, make sure this is not how to uh, knead the dough when you knead the dough is just like that keep it always a circle but uh, now we're gonna pretend that the dough is uh, too sticky it's possible to do high hydration and this is how you do it so let's say when it's really sticky like this okay that you cannot do anything anymore so what do you do easily wash your hands first of all okay now that we wash our hands pay attention we don't touch anymore the dough so get the spatula put everything in on the under without touching the dough so now you have to do this movement circulate it circulate it until it's almost detached and you have to be quick when you do movements you have to be quick so voila now we don't touch it anymore and pay attention to this little bit of olive oil in your hands take a look little bit and tap 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 on top and now let's go ahead and uh, plastic wrap and uh, leave it like this for 15 to 20 minutes just like that it doesn't matter you can if you do this you can make also 80 percent hydration with the dough so i'll see you in a little bit molto importante okay guys very 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 important this step like you can see okay usually the dough is really, really sticky because the dough was not kneaded properly it's not because the recipe is wrong so most of the time of course if you you have to follow the recipe make sure to check the description i'm gonna link the video to this dough and uh, so take a look see even when i take out the plastic wrap the dough is really sticky but uh, save this plastic wrap and upside down and now pay attention what i do little bit of olive oil little bit that's it this way your hands are not sticky anymore tap 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 now do this movement until the dough is detached from the floor so circulate it you go ahead like this and you flip it over like this and you do the folding pro process just like that see the dough is becoming nice and smooth even if we needed the dough for about 15 minutes this time frame that the dough was resting what happened is that it was building the gluten because you are you need to understand that you create the gluten you build the gluten you don't it doesn't come with the gluten so voila see what i'm doing i'm just getting the dough and uh, gently when you see that the dough is a little bit sticky in your hands go ahead a little bit of uh, olive oil in your hands and you resolve the problem so gently boom then boom and then boom voila guys we don't want to do it too much otherwise you're gonna break the gluten and then adios amigos <laughs> so just a little bit if it breaks because it might break because the, the flour is not it's weak not a big deal little bit of olive oil in your hands little bit just like that voila hands tap 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 on the top and uh, voila get the plastic wrap again and then voila boom 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 voila guys now we let it rest the dough for one hour at this point the dough it's uh, re uh, ready that was kneaded properly like you can see even i repeat even if i uh, kneaded the dough for about 15 minutes only this is the result okay guys let it rest for one hour at room temperature I'll see you in a little bit
Okay, uh, okay, there we go guys. After one hour, this is the dough. Lovely, nice and smooth. At this point, again, one more time, we are ready to make the balls, but uh, don't touch it just like that. Always put a little bit of uh, olive oil in your hands, just a little bit, and uh, make sure that, uh, or, or you put the olive oil, or you put a little bit of flour. It doesn't matter, but you have to put something, because otherwise, the dough is gonna be sticky. So, let's get ready with the box, or the container where you're gonna put the dough. I put already a little bit of flour inside, and then, we are ready to go ahead and make the balls. So there we go, split the dough in two. This is the best way to make the balls. So you have two ways, or you go like this, you cut it and you make the ball like that, or you just go ahead and do this, which I prefer. So see what I'm doing? I'm just going and doing the movement very quick, quickly, because it's very important. The dough will be sticky if you go slow. You have to be quick. So just like that, see, boom, boom, boom. That's the main reason also why the dough is really sticky. So I repeat, it's not the recipe. And voila, so now we're gonna go ahead and put the balls inside a container, just like that. Three and four. Voila, close it. And one hour to two hours at room temperature, boom, the dough will be ready. Okay guys, the dough is uh, basically ready, like I say, one hour to two hours at room temperature, but uh, mainly this video was about uh, uh, to resolve, uh, how to resolve the, uh, the dough that was really sticky. Uh, so hopefully this video will be nice and helpful for you, and uh, now it's your time to please support by sharing and uh, share with uh, three friends, five friends, it's free and uh, please go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much for my Video Copelli. At the next one, I'm going to show you how to make the pizza. Thank you so much, and I'll see you at the next one. Boom, 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 from my Video Copelli, it's everything, and thank you so much.